Well, that's a big map. Reminds me of the factories. Oh my god. Not another monologue. We should be past the halfway point of the back road now. Ha. If we are somehow unable to reach the Tower of Binding before the total nexus occurs. I am sorry. I am letting my anxiety get the better of me. These stones are an astronomical observatory that was created by the Ancient Ones. They used it to observe the flow of time. It is a surprisingly accurate way to measure the movements of the stars, especially considering they are just simply stones. The Ancient Ones really did understand the way the world works, far better than those of us born today. Not only did they create this observatory, but the almanacs that they wrote are currently stored at Daijingu. And what was predicted in the almanacs was the total nexus. Just by watching the movements of the stars, the Ancient Ones understood there would be one day every 76 years when our world would intersect with the various unseen worlds. And that day is today, September 1st, 1923. Uh huh? Honorable Traveler, what is happening? Your image is fading. Our connection is it weakening. <sighs> Thank goodness you have returned. I do not know what I would do if... if you left me now. Probably jump off the cliff. But... what was that strange sensation I felt when you returned? Not to mention... the observatory stones were... flickering. Honorable Traveler, the flow of time in your world differs from my own, does it not? I don't know. Here, in the world I live in, it is the 1st of September, 1923. Is it possible that your unseen world is further into the future than my own? I see. I suspected so. The Ancient Ones foresaw this, too, in addition to everything about the celestial weapons. Let's go. The future. It must be quite different from the time period I am living in. But I digress. What we really need to be thinking about right now is how to catch up with Masatake, right? Dawn is almost here. We must hurry. Ah, <sighs> this dialogue slowly gets to me. There is some history, but it's told in such an uneventful way and kind of annoying. I don't know. Okay, let's see. That's kind of far. Of the Tower of Binding is one of those places. 
Powerful kami inevitably appear at these sites with powerful key. Places that serve as gathering points for the fluctuations of causality. Mm. Some fluctuations of causality make it possible for islands to float, but others can make common appear. Both cases are the same fluctuations of causality, simply manifested in different places. So it was here. Why? I think something like that. It like needs to stop. Okay. I feel like we're slowly in the ending. I suspect there will be couple ones. Stay on your toes. Careful. That will be very in style of this developer. You can cancel the Kenzo's energy orbs with the power of keys. We need to get the key from the other. I guess, yeah, okay. I needed red and green. Hello. I am deeply indebted to you, honorable traveler. So that's nothing. I mean, I can place the brick here. Stay on your toes. Kenzoku. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's the actual solution, but that's mine. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Stay on your toes. Not. I need fire, but I don't remember having one. What if I launch? That's too far, no? That could work? I don't know. It's kind of far. Yeah, well, that changes things. Holy moly, I was stuck so long here. Just for one fire key. Uh, okay. You are a natural with the celestial weapon. Now it's easy peasy.
It should bounce. Oh, ho oh. ho. Okay, game. First, get kidnapped. Careful! Guess he's sleeping. No. Okay, I see. Come on. <laughs> Amazing. We did it. Let's get out of here because this stage already broke me. We have been spotted. Too bad I can't do things with two hands at the same time. And I'm just prolonging. But I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> it's a pretty good puzzler overall. It's just sometimes the dialogue can be uh, just annoying. <laughs> Wait. We really are missing one, huh? One, two, three. First we go here for some reason, but that's the way to go back. Did we transition like into the new area? Oh. You did it. Wonderful. I swear we came from here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough. No one here. Hmm. Please be gentle with the I guess the game is just done as well. <laughs> What do you mean? I feel a bit of foreboding about this. Huh. 
A Siege. Oh shit, nice of you. I hate things approaching me at fast speed. A diversion. Oh, I'll just carry you around and just kill them. That's a solution as well. That's my no matter how many you defeat, they just keep coming. No. Hold my hand. Can you? I heard the shot. It is surrounding me. As I am now, no Kami stands a chance. I am much obliged. Let's go. <laughs> I don't think we'll get the boss stage yet. Now we have four. I was pretty doubtful. It is all thanks to you that we have made it this far without issue. Without issue? Thank you. You are quite reliable. It feels almost as if you could be my big brother. Or big sister. <laughs> you know? Siblings. I mentioned it before, but I used to have a younger sister. Yeah, and can we see them? If she were still alive today, she would have started her training as a shrine maiden by now. The life of a shrine maiden is not an easy one. You said that already. In order to keep other people safe, we must whittle away at our own lives. That is what it means to be a Shrine Maiden. There are two sides to each Kami. One side is that of a tranquil soul, which brings blessings. The other is a restless soul, which brings calamity. Mm. To the planet itself, whether blessings or calamity, a Kami is simply a powerful force being born into the world as a side effect of the fluctuations of causality. That is all. But they affect us humans in dramatic ways. When we Shrine Maidens determine their power to be a threat to the people, it is our duty to quell the incensed Kami so that we can protect our world. Our lifespans are so short because in order to prevent events that should have come to pass, we must trade portions of our life force to bend the fluctuations of causality to our will. That day, I realized I would have to be prepared to give my life to uphold my duty as a Shrine Maiden. That is simply how it is. However, there are girls at Daijingu who are the same age as my sister. They are still so young. To think that they will not be able to live long lives, even if it is fate, 
It is still an incredibly sad thought. I searched the ancient texts at Daijingu for a way to save the world without sacrificing lives. But it was all for naught at this point. I must stop Elder Masatake, no matter what. That will most likely be my final task. I hope you will see it through by my side. <laughs> it's not like I have a choice. <laughs> 